today I'm going to show you how to make pineapple empanaditas. Something you can serve for pika pika. You can also serve this for snacks or dessert. Or you can make this a uh, pang negosyo project. Let's get started. For the crust, you need 4 cups of all-purpose flour, 200 grams of shortening, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, 1 half teaspoon salt, 1 cup of water, variable, you need only enough to bind. For the pineapple filling, you need 1 half cup of pineapple juice, 1 half cup of water, 1 third cup of sugar, 1 tablespoon calamansi juice, 1 fourth to 1 third cup of cornstarch, 1 tablespoon butter, 1 small can of crushed pineapple, do not drain, and 1 fourth teaspoon of pineapple flavoring. Pineapple filling, we put together all ingredients. We have sugar, pineapple juice, calamansi. The calamansi actually cuts the sweetness of the pineapple. And then you have crushed pineapple. Actually, this is not crushed. This is tidbits which we just chopped up because we, oh, could, we could not try. find crushed pineapple. And then you have uh, water and cornstarch. Then you need 1 4 teaspoon of pineapple flavoring. Then you have butter or margarine. Okay, I prefer to use uh, lemon yellow, but we don't have lemon yellow, so this is egg yellow. Just a little bit just to enhance the color. You may omit it also. You see, because the egg yellow comes out like orange, I want it to come out like pineapple. So you need lemon yellow. I will see if we can find some lemon yellow. Oh, here we have, you see? This one is better, it's more pineapple. Alright, we will wait for this to boil before we add the cornstarch. You can also add the cornstarch now, but if you add the cornstarch now, then you have to keep stirring it until it thickens or until it boils. Buy crushed pineapple, okay? These are tidbits because, as I said, there were no crushed pineapple available in the supermarket. If you use tidbits, then you need to add a little bit more cornstarch because there is more liquid in the tidbits. Okay, it's boiling now, so I'm going to add the cornstarch, which you dispersed in water. All right. See, this is a nice color. It's lemon yellow. This will look like a paste, okay? So don't be surprised. And then we have butter. We cook this until the mixture is opaque. Then we know the starch is cooked. Okay, almost done. Okay, I used one third cup of cornstarch. All right, so let's take it out and put it in the chiller so that it will cool down while we make the crust. Do not try to fill your empanaditas with a hot filling because it's going to ooze out, you'll have difficulty forming it. Let's make the crust. I have here all-purpose flour, baking powder, sugar. Baking powder and sugar are optional, but I like to add baking powder because it gives the flour a little lift. And I add sugar to give a little flavor, and then salt. Mix together, use your hands. I'm using shortening. You can use half shortening, half premium margarine. You can use also butter, but if you use butter, you need cold water and you need to keep the dough inside the refrigerator, right? I like shortening because it's more, you know, might have lesser in taste, but easier to handle. You rub them on the flour so they break up into small pieces. You can put this in the mixer too. For the water, I have here one half cup but uh, this is variable. Sometimes you need less, you, sometimes you need more, all right? Okay, so let me add a water. You need enough water to bind. So you add it gradually and press. Don't knead the dough, press so they stick together, all right? Because if you knead the dough, what happens? Your dough will be very tough. 
So I'll press this together. I think I can use all of the one half cup. So look, what I'm doing is I'm just pressing this together. Okay, let me put it here so easier for us. Okay, just press until it holds together. Remember, if you're using butter, you need to use ice cold water. And you need to keep this in the chiller. Alright, so do not worry if they are not, uh, they are not very smooth. That's not important. Okay, so we will divide this into, um, I will weigh this into 30, let me check. Okay, let's make uh, 24. Okay. So, I'll weigh this. You don't have to, but you know I'm OC. I want everything the same size. You flour a bit and roll this out. By the way, you need to rest the dough about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's easier, it's more pliable, okay? And then this is the one that I chose because they're empanaditas, they're small. And here is our, our pineapple filling, okay? And then we need water to seal. You can use egg, but water will do. Okay, around the sides. Make sure you put water because I tell you they will open. Okay, press it down and then here. Take this out. Okay, let's make another one. This one, the empanaditas, you can fry them, you can bake them. I like frying them because it's faster. However, uh, they don't keep long if you fry them because it becomes soft. Whereas, if you bake them, they will keep a bit longer. Though, the one fried is tastier. Okay, don't overfill. Make sure it does not go to the rim. And then, Take this out, then we can use that again. You let it rest, so like this. And we will continue with the rest. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. For your pineapple empanaditas, I'm going to fry it. As I said, you can also bake it. Frying is faster, more delicious. Baking takes longer but it also keeps longer. The storage, uh, the shelf life is longer. Frying, the storage life is shorter. So you can choose whatever you want to do. You can fry, you can bake. If you bake, brush the top with egg wash, all right? If you fry, no need to brush the top. Heat the oil until it's hot about 350 degrees because remember the filling is cooked we only need to cook the skin by the way uh, the empanada molder comes in three sizes I use the smallest one but of course you can make them big but you know they're empanaditas meaning they're small you can also stuff this with ube buko uh, what else uh, ube buko you can also stuff this with ube alea or buko filling, like the one that you use for your buko pie, but you just cut the buko into smaller pieces. This is now 350 degrees. When you fry, keep it moving so that the uh, color is even. I always use a stick. These are cooking chopsticks because if you use a uh, ladle, there's a tendency to tear the skin if it's still soft. Okay. If you want a little browner, yes, you can, but I think this color is nice. All right, so let's take this out. And then let's cook the second batch. 